Hey, this is Michael Penny with Teens Want to Know. Today we're at the premiere for Richard Grieco's art exhibit at Gallery Sparta. Teens Want to Know was invited to attend the opening night for Richard Grieco's art exhibit at Gallery Sparta in Hollywood. The actor, who hit superstardom playing Dennis Booker on 21 Jump Street alongside Johnny Depp, displayed his work publicly for the first time, and plenty of celebrity friends came out to support him. The event also supported two causes. First was the Wolf Connection, which not only rescues wolves and wolf dogs, but also has a youth empowerment program. The other was Fueled by the Fallen, which supports our public safety and military personnel. We asked the attendees about what they felt was the key to success as artists, their current projects, as well as advice for teens. Hey, we're here with Richard Grieco. Now, this is your moment. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good, yeah. And now, you've been painting for a long time. Yeah. Uh, wh why did you decide to go public with your work? Um, it came from in 1998, 2000, with Dennis Hopper. I was doing a movie with him, and he saw my work, and he said, uh, you know, he said, hey, man, I mean, your work is, is wonderful. Show it to the world. And it yeah. took me nine, ten years to figure it out. And I finally wanted to come public with it. And it, it, and it's a new art form. I mean, and there's no reason why someone in this day and age can't come up, up with a new art form. Because they did in the 50s. And they did in the 70s with pop art with Andy Warhol and, and, and Ed Ruscha and yeah. Herring and stuff like that. And there's no reason why in 2013, why there isn't a new art form where you create things underneath the canvas and, and create just, uh, topography and, and stuff like that, that that creates an emotion out of people. And could you tell us something people would be surprised to know about you? Um, other than... Um, oh, I have a pet squirrel. Really? Yeah. Andre came into my life about four months ago and he was a squirrel that I fed a nut to <laughs> and then all of a sudden he became just incessant on grabbing nuts so every day I run I run the hill every morning yeah so I come home at 6 30 in the morning and he's there on top of the table it's so cute it really is so cute yeah you no know, really a little squirrel like this <laughs> and waiting and so I I didn't mean to train him but it's just yeah. really weird so I, I I'm now bagging I'm now buying bags bags of nuts for this freaking s <laughs> squirrel hey we're here with legendary singer Johnny Mathis it's a pleasure meeting you. Do you, you know my name? <laughs> yes. You're too young. <laughs> no, you're, like, you're like the soundtrack to all my Christmases. Your music is great. Oh, okay. Christmas time. Yeah, that's my time. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you most excited for about today's event? I'm getting to uh, see what my golfing buddy does in his spare time. <laughs> and evidently he's very famous. I never knew this about him. I never knew no? this. No, it's a very oh. big surprise and, uh, and I'm thrilled for him. I'm, I'm very anxious to see his work. Uh, I only know him as my golfing buddy. <laughs> hey, well, today we're surrounded by a lot of really cool art. In your opinion, what's the key to success as an artist? Oh, uh, publicity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Richard Grieco is a wonderful talent, and he's got a huge, huge heart. We've got the 9-11 Angels we brought today to honor our heroes, and Richard and, and Gallery Sparta uh, are actually selling a painting tonight, and in honor of our heroes, are going to give back some of those proceeds. And now, do you have any messages for Richard? Richard, just keep doing what you do. You've been doing it so brilliantly for so long. Don't stop now, brother. Hey, we're here with Mickey Rooney. So now you've had a really long career as an artist. What advice would you give to young people trying to get into the industry? Education first. Education first? Yeah, don't, don't, don't think about it. God. You find out, use this. Yeah. And God knows what you should do. And now it's time for our time machine question. If you could go back in time and give one piece of advice to your teen self, what would it be? Take your time. And use wisdom. Yeah. First off, Richard is not only have we work together, and he's in our film. Um, I've worked with him on other films before. But Richard's a friend, um, so I'll do anything I can to support him. And his work is amazing. I mean, you can't look at his work and not either get lost in it, have an immediate emotional reaction to it. 
it, it sparks something inside of you and that's what all art to me is about. At the end of the day, it's for you to watch a movie or listen to a piece of music or look at a beautiful piece of artwork like Richard's and have some sort of an emotional, visceral response to it. Hey, we're here with Valerie Ortiz from VH1's At The Floor. What's been new with you since we last spoke to you? Oh my gosh, literally, I feel like I just saw you guys, but I, I went home for the season finale of Hit The yeah. Floor and we found out we got picked up for season two. So we're super, thank you, we're so excited. And Valerie, in your opinion, what's the key to success as an artist? The key to success, honestly, uh, it's personal for me. I say a good, humble family. Your family and those different connections that you have and the people that like inspire you and motivate you to make that success, whatever that is to you personally, um, I feel like that's the key. At least it's been the key for me. Yeah. That close-knit family and friends and that support. So since the last time we talked to you, what's been new with you? Let me see, uh, the last time we chatted, uh, I was promoting the internship. Uh, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna be promoting a movie called Helicopter Mom with uh, Nia Verdalis, you know, the girl from uh, my big fat Greek wedding. And the key to success would be uh, to get someone's emotion, uh, you know, to react to whatever they're looking at. Key to success as an artist, um, I would definitely have to say belief in yourself and your own style. Uh, you know, creating who you are and really going for it, you know. Uh, the wonderful thing about art is that it's open to everybody and everybody's interpretation and you can really make it personal. So what's been new with you since we last saw you? Huh, well I just booked a film called Death by Solicitation. It's about a family of cannibals. I'm playing the daughter and Eric Roberts is playing my dad. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. You know, there's so many different types of art and I think it appeals to different people depending on how it relates to you. But for me, it's like good art provokes something from a deep inside place. It provokes something in your soul and you're just like, oh my God, that's stunning, that's beautiful. Hey, we're here with Mackenzie Borg from The Voice. So what's been new with you since The Voice? Uh, actually, I just played uh, El Rey Theater last night and I'm in studio working on my first record, so. So today we're surrounded by some really cool art. In your opinion, what's the key to success as an artist? Just, you know, doing what you feel. I mean, I feel like as an artist, if you're, if you're doing what you love, you can't really be doing anything wrong. Perseverance. Yeah. Just keep go keep getting out there and keep showing it and yeah, eventually something will happen. <laughs> I'm really glad to be here because of art and actually I, I when I was a kid I wanted to be an, oh. a painter. Yeah. <laughs> In your opinion, what's the key to success as an artist? Um, staying away from dangerous people. <laughs> no, I think just being yourself and, and owning who you are is always important. Yeah. Uh, you know, keeping that self-belief and individualism as an artist is always key, yeah. You just got to stay open. Um, always be in tune with your inspiration. I think that's how you get the most genuine work. Tell us something people would be surprised to know about you. I'm super dorky and A-type personality. Really? Yeah. Like A-type, clean OCD, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, that's that's not something that a lot of people would know. <laughs> now, if you could give one piece of advice to your teen self, what would it be? Don't ever forget who you are, and always live like you're gonna die tomorrow. <laughs> you guys, come on out here, check out this amazing art that Richard Grieco did. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, it is for sale. It's going like hotcakes in Europe, and this is the man can hook you up with an amazing deal. Absolutely, so everybody come in, anytime. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Valerie Ortiz here at the Red Carpet, and you, of course, watching Teens Wanna Know. Hi, Teens Wanna Know, this is Johnny Mathis. Tune into Teens Want to Know and watch his career grow. <laughs> oh, I made a rhyme. You owe me a dime. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mickey Rooney, and you're watching Teens Want to Know.